Hey, this is Daniel Tal, and I want to introduce my new extension to fix an age-old SketchUp problem, uh, the clipping plane. And this is this extension is a a solution to something that I run into when I'm modeling, and I'm just going to jump in, jump into it and show you what I mean. Right there, you can see I've run into the dreaded clipping plane. My first reaction is to go absolutely insane. Uh, it shows up randomly. It's really hard to fix at times, so you can actually zoom in and work on your model. But this extension, really quickly, there's the buttons for it. I'm going to select Set Near Clip Plane Distance. I'm going to click on it. You'll see this camera screen flash up for a second. And then, right then and there, it's fixed. Let me show you how that works again. I'm going to zoom into the other side of this bridge by the monument. I want to edit this jersey barrier, go into the components, and there you can see the clipping plane, which makes it impossible for me to actually work in here on the area I want to. Click on Set Near Clip Plane Distance. This menu will flash real quickly, and now I can zoom in, and I can continue working on the model, hopefully. There is another option on this menu here, reset, reset near clip plane distance. So because of the way that this tool works, if we zoom back out of our model, what might happen is you're going to see all this Z fighting and flashing. And that's a result of the way the SketchUp camera works and this fix kind of interacts with that camera values, but you can fix that by clicking on the next option, the Reset Near Clip Plane Distance, it resets the camera to default and it fixes that problem. So this is a way for you to go in and out of the model when you want to zoom in really close on a detail, wherever that might be. You can see I'm running into the clipping plane. I'll set the near clip plane. I'll set the near. It'll fix it after a couple of seconds. And then if you're working on the rest of the model and you see all this Z fighting, the other button with the X returns all the values for the camera to default. And that's the way this extension works. It's not meant to be complicated. It's fairly straightforward. And I use it now all the time as part of my own workflow.